And in weather, the cold front is here. Look at that. It is racing across at 25 miles an hour. It's already bearing down on downtown. So that will be its next stop. It'll be in Galveston by midnight. I have lightning turned on, so I don't have severe weather with this, but I have a lot of wind and have a lot of cold. Your forecast is straight ahead. All right, Frank, thank you. Plus the large show of support for one forgotten Texas veteran after news came out that no one was going to attend his funeral. And another dangerous situation involving an HPD officer. What led to the officer shooting a suspect next on Channel 2 News at 10. From 70s to 30s, I'm tracking the big drop in temperatures and why it will feel even colder and how long it will last. And we're testing Piggy Pop, a product that claims to make breakfast or Super Bowl snacks fast, easy, and fun Tuesday morning. Kiss high electric bills goodbye. Why pay more for exactly the same? Frontier Utilities. Electricity for less. Alexa, play weekend mix. The new Lincoln MKC. Connecting the world inside with the world outside. So you can move through both a little easier. Introducing the well-connected 2019 Lincoln MKC. For a limited time, lease the Lincoln MKC for only $3.19 a month. Only at your Lincoln dealer. You're too young. You're over the hill. You can't have a baby at your age. You don't want kids? You want more kids? <laughs> Must be menopause. Welcome to puberty. Welcome to motherhood. No estás amamantando? You are going back to work. Who watches your kids? Go with your doctor. Go with your gut. With the Chase mobile app, Chase and Wu could pay practically anyone at any bank, all while putting on a runway show for New York Fashion Week. He could. Or he could make it even easier and set up recurring payments to his neighbor for cat sitting. Whoa, you groomed her too. And now she's ready for the catwalk. Life, live Jason's way. Chase, make more of what's yours. This winter, you could go nimble and turbocharged. Or go out in style. Or go bold and iconic. Or you could go test drive all three and choose for yourself. The decision is all yours. Get this low mileage lease on this 2019 Cadillac XT4 from around $389 per month. Visit your Houston area Cadillac dealer today. We are KPRC Channel 2 Investigates, the largest, most relentless team of investigators in Houston. Got something for Channel 2 Investigates to check out? Here's how to reach us. Aside from today's police shooting, we're also tracking today's second shooting involving a Houston police officer. A homeowner in the neighborhood tells us this all began with an incident last week. This officer was working near Tidwell, an airline on the city's north side. We're told the shooting came after a chase. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers joins us live from this scene tonight. Brittany? Yeah, police tell me that in this particular case, the suspect was able to get out of police custody while he was injured. They say that he got in a fight with an officer and then he stole one of their patrol cars. Police say the call came in around 6 that a man was driving erratically. This witness didn't want to show his face, but says the driver of this Honda showed up at his house, started honking and threatening him. Instead of reversing out of my driveway, he goes forward. Then my daughter's like not even three feet away from the front bumper. He tries reversing out of my yard and he kind of gets stuck. He goes forward again and reverses again. Finally, he gets out and takes off. As, as that was happening, my wife was already calling the, uh, the police. Assistant Chief H. Goss says that an officer attempted to pull over the suspect, but he wouldn't get out of the vehicle or get on the ground. And when he started making gestures at the officer, he used his taser on him. Fearing for the officer's safety and the citizens around, discharges his weapon at least a couple of times uh, at the suspect. Police say the suspect was struck in the shoulder, but before they could take him to the hospital, he got in a fight with police. The suspect somehow got into the officer's vehicle. And he drove several yards down. The officer is continuously giving him commands. Other backup officers arrive. The suspect ran down the street before they were able to take him into custody. 
Now, we are told that the officer is currently on administrative leave, which is standard protocol. Live here in North Houston tonight, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News. So that's incident number two. Thank you, Brittany.